So my parents got me into golf um, when I was seven. Uh, and by the time I was, like when I was 11, I started to practice regularly. I would say in the, in the junior practices, we, we, our club was running. Uh, my dad used to be actually the instructor there for the junior practices, so. But it didn't take long till I got the spark until I started to enjoy it. And it wasn't really the game itself, it wasn't the golf I started enjoying, it was the competing. Because I, I, I played my first competitions when I was 11. I jumped straight into that and I kind of fell in love with um, trying to get better every day. And I think I'm still, that's, that's why I'm still playing. I just wanna, I love to see myself getting better. That's really rewarding for me. So I think a few years before I started high school, I knew, okay, I wanna go to sports high school. And then I knew, okay, now I want to, after I graduate from high school, I want to go to college to play college golf. And when I graduate from college, I'm going to turn pro. So, yeah, it was pretty straightforward for me ever since I was still a teenager. Like, this is what I want to do. Well, when I turned pro, I knew I'm not ready. Like, I, I'm not going to win tournaments <laughs> straight away. So I would just, I think I've, I've just seen it, uh, this whole thing as a long process, no matter your st status, no matter if you're 11 year old trying to get through some putting drill and <laughs> slamming putters when you get frustrated, but no matter at what stage in your career are, you might be a major winner, you're, you're never going to be ready, you just, you just got to try to get better every day. And, and when, you, when you think you have it, when you think, okay, now I got the swing, now I got it. I'd say it's even harder to maintain that. The maintenance work is the one that's, that's gonna like take a lot of work as well. Of course, sometimes I, I absolutely hate the morning wake ups when you have the 6 a.m. flight to catch and you, you travel all day, then you get on the course and you just, <laughs> there's no point swinging a golf club because you're physically and mentally just too tired. Those days are the toughest, I'd say, but um, there's more good stuff than bad stuff, definitely, in this, in this life. I'd say I've been fortunate to be able to play high-level amateur golf, play high-level college golf, and now high-level professional golf, and uh, this, this sport has taken me to places. <laughs> I think that winning my first professional event, event is, is one of the most like, special moments in my career, definitely. Um, yeah, and ever since I've, after that I won two, and they, they always feel great. But the first one is, is probably the, the biggest one. Um, yeah, I had my parents there. My dad was like cutting or pulling the trolley for me and my mom was watching, so it made it a little more special. Of course, we're really close with the Finnish girls, like the, all the Finnish professionals, we, we, we travel together and share rooms and stuff like that so it really helps there's somebody uh, that you're not alone when you when you're there we're like a little family we we have a we call each other we have this hashtag uh, tour tour siskot which means tour sisters <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know who started it a few years ago but but uh, I think that's a funny thing but um, yeah definitely helps to have a you know, friends helps to have a team around you. Like I said uh, earlier, I'm close to my parents. I, I we keep uh, close. We, we keep in touch with my coach like regularly, every week. Like even though I wouldn't be able to see him, we we talk on the phone. I send him every week. I send him swings, no matter if I'm hitting it good or bad. I just send the swings every week, so he knows uh, what's up. So there's like somebody I can rely on that stuff so it puts a little stress off myself like there's enough stuff to worry about to trying to get around the golf course with <laughs> and trying to trying to suit 64s like that's that's up to me but if I can just leave my golf golf swing to my coach then that helps five birdies in six holes like even the, the best players in the world right now they're not winning every week so there's something like how can you be the best player in the world and you you only win like three, four times a year. Yeah. But this game is just, there's so many 
varieties. Like you play different chords every day, the weather changes, uh, sometimes you play a course where you have to hit it long, sometimes you play a course where you have a lot of wedges in and uh, there's just so much that, every, uh, that changes. Yeah, she does. It is around 67. It's fun to go out there and try to win because you can only, there's only things you can win so you don't, that mental mentality utility is not like what do I have to lose or am I, am I gonna make the cut or like you're never looking behind, you're always looking who's there, which backs I need to catch, <laughs> you know? I love it, I love it. I wanna get better so I'm not afraid of making little changes and you might, some week I might miss a cut because I'm trying something new but uh, I'm not afraid, I just wanna, you know, I know like might take a few weeks, but then I take a take few steps back and then I come back and maybe I'll win. <laughs> a winning golf tournament, yeah, that's my goal. But um, when it happens, then what next? Let's win more, <laughs> you know? <laughs>